press conference for today by the folks from Minnesota. Again, make sure you watch more film uh, silent. Um, we can start with an opening statement from Jim Moscow. Well, you know, we, we, it's kind of simple. We made, we had, we had a great first period and then, you know, we made a mistake in the last minute and, and, a of the, the last, what minute and a half of the first period and, uh, lost a little momentum there. And then we started the second and, and, you know, if we backtrack the game, we made just a couple critical mistakes against a really talented team. And then that was it. Uh, and then I give BU credit how they sold out in the third. I mean, they're deep. They're, they must have blocked 20 shots in the third period. And we poured it all on, you know, and we had it, you know, Brodsey had it on a stick and it jumped over it. And, you know, we've all seen that for five years. That, that game was tied right there. And, uh, and that was, it was set up to be a classic game. And, and we, we just couldn't, a couple of mistakes that they were, their talented guys capitalized on. And, and then we, we just couldn't get it tied up. Thanks, Coach. I'll move floor for our student athletes, Bill Lamb, Luke Middleson. Uh, please raise your hand for the microphone. Identify yourself and you're out. Eric Vigo, go for Puck Live. Luke, it looked like you were trying to generate some possession and plays from the blue line tonight, and you tried to connect with your forwards. What were you looking for out of that? Yeah, I don't know. I think. Um, we know they struggle a little bit defensively, and uh, you know we can wear them down. And I don't know. I think just trying to make plays and score goals. Jess Myers from the Rink Live Loop. Celebrini had the two kind of setups from down in the corner early on, and it seemed like after that maybe you neutralized him a little bit better. What what did you see from him, and what did you do to maybe be more effective versus him maybe the second half of the game? Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. There's no doubt about that. And um, I, know, I think the best way to neutralize those type of guys is just take away time and space. And I think that's that's what we did. Randy Johnson, Minneapolis Star Tribune. Uh, Brody, when you guys got the 2 nothing lead, do you guys feel you were on the way? I mean, yeah, it's a great feeling to get up early. Um, we knew we had to stick with it. Um, obviously, that goal late. Kind of kept the momentum a little bit, but I thought in the second we did a good job battling back. Just uh, didn't go our way at night, so. Just for either player, what was kind of the message going into the third period? It seemed like, you know, you'd, you'd done everything to stay in the game, uh, despite, as your coach talked about, a couple of defensive lapses. Just what? What was the message for those final 20? Uh, I mean, give it all, everything you got. Um, for the fifth year seniors that have been doing it a long time, just, uh, you know, getting the ozone, possess pucks, which I thought we did a great job. They uh, collapsed well in their period. So um, I just leave it all out there. Eric Pico, go for Puck Live. Luke, that line of Nelson. Mavericks and Brzezinski played a lot of minutes. What has it meant to play with those guys with your career to see that one big hit tonight? Yeah, I mean, those guys. They, I mean, they work. They're unreal guys. I'm going to miss them like hell. Thank you guys. Bob, you talked about the defensive lapses. Did you sense something different from Justin tonight? You know, probably a couple goals he would want to have back. And and was there any conversation with him? It really seemed like he got, you know, calmed down in that third. Yeah, well. We didn't have any conversation. Uh, he he's just been remarkable for us, you know. And and you know, awful talented players, you know. That that and it's, isn't it, you know. Sometimes you think that it's a goalie and it's it's not. But the guy that's scoring the goal or setting it up is an NHL player, a big time player. And 
and that's what happened. Uh, their, their, their guys made a couple plays to flip the game on us. And, and our guys battled. I mean, we, I got no issue on how we battled tonight and tried to get back in that thing. Uh, Bob, what are your super seniors going to mean to you? Oh, man. You know, you've been with those guys for five years. And I, I've been here for six and, uh, and, and the senior class as well. Like, you know, we're, we're a player led program in the heart that they've given to, to the guys in the locker room, their teammate, this program there, it, it's an incredible group and it's been an honor to coach them. It's been an honor to be around them. Um, and. And what we really, I mean, we feel this has been happening in the last, you know, handful of years, that leadership is setting its roots inside our group. Yeah, you know, it's our fourth straight, you know, region final. And we believe to be here. And we believe we were going to, you know, we believe we were going to win tonight. Like, there's not a question. Um, we knew we had to play, and I know they're going to get on the bus and wish we'd played just a tad better in a few moments. And that was what it was, it was just a few moments that they got away from us. Bob, you were shuffling the lines quite a bit throughout tonight. What were you looking for? What did you like? Well, I, I started really shuffling them in the third a little bit and uh, we had a lot of versatility to, to get guys out there and, and get a spark. And it was, it was working because we, you know, we possessed the puck, you know, and, and they kind of went in a little bit of a defensive mode, but um, we had looks. We had all the looks we needed to get the fourth goal. Uh, you're just, we were all just waiting for it. The crowd would have went crazy, and, you know, we might have had another classic overtime game, and it just never came. Well, we've talked a lot about Jackson this weekend and all season, but, you know, you had a home crowd in here tonight. He's playing close to his hometown, and then he gets that first one, right? Is that a who's writing this script kind of moment for you? Yeah, how about how he played the last month, month and a half of the season, too? And there was a guy that put the team on his back. And uh, so cool to watch, to be around that and feel that. And the guys in that room, I mean, you saw Luke's response because they know it. Uh, it's special for him to be here. And, and you know, Sioux Falls did an incredible job. This was a, a great venue, great city to be in. Um, I know there were a lot of Gopher fans here tonight, and, and outside of the loss, they, they, they thoroughly enjoyed their time here. So awesome job to everyone who was part of this. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Coach.